Hey guys, last time we went over, we started on our Dundon Mushi. So I have it here. So when I went in game with my friend, we checked it out. So the issue we, I didn't realize I did was that each thing only says your player's name. Where is it? The text is your player's name. So that was the issue we made. So it's an easy fix though. It, um. Kind of how we did the. Where is it actually? Um, I don't think I showed you guys. Um, players in game, and then the number of buttons, and then dot name. So this is it goes through the number of players in game, and then whichever one it's at, like say it's at like the first one, which would be our player, it would put their name. So that's a quick, simple fix. Still works. Alright, so the one thing I want to do, since I'm going to be using this, since in the game I'm making, the number is going to, it's going to have no player list. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to make a call number. Number. Oops. So call number, we're going to put it into the player itself. Depending whether to put it in the player or the backpack. I'll put it in the backpack. So you get a new number every time you die. Dun dun mushy number. Alright, um. So this is where we check the backpack. And it finds the dun mushy number. If it doesn't find it, then it runs. Add the int value. Since we're going to use an integer. Mistake. And that name equals. And then motion number. Number. All right, so we're gonna make it a five-digit number. So we're gonna use not that random. It's gonna be one thousand two five-digit number. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three. All right. So instead of doing um, that name, we're gonna do backpack. So, players number would be players. In, you have to find the number, the value of the players number, obviously. Players in game button insertion dot backpack when first child and then mushy number. So it looks it looks for the den den mushy. So player's number hold. Player's number is player's number holder. Dot value. Player's in game button insertion. So it checks the player and then actually no, you can just put players player's number. That should work. Zero. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Alright. So now instead of having um, someone that's something that says, like, say your name, so you don't know who's, who's who in this game, so who's who in the server, issues we don't have anything that says our text. So that's where we can we're, we can add a little bo box up here that says our player's text, like what our number is, so we can tell for, like see so want to tell your friend what your number is, so they know where to find you. That we we're gonna put that in the info frame. So 
So we're just going to do a little text box. I did not use any offset art. Alright, text box. Um, position wise, no, I didn't. All right. Question is, where is it? Oh, wait a minute. What's the size in the info frame? Yeah, that's why. I can't believe I forgot to do that. Alright, that's an issue. Make sure it goes to zero, zero, zero. Make it one on scale so it fits the screen. Background transparency one. We don't need to worry about that making it active because the background's already active. But let's just make it active for it to be safe. All right, let's try that again. All right, so size-wise, it was what? 50 offset. Yeah, because it's a frame. Um, trying to think how we can do it so it fits. Just trial and error till it fits, then I guess. Point two five seems about good. Size should be one point two five. No. Point two five. All right, that seems good. All right. So this would go into here, into a frame. Then then Mushi call number call number box equals all right. So that new, just kind of setting up the video portions. This isn't really that interesting of a video, but. This is something really important to get done for later on. Wait.
zero point one two five. UDIM two dot new. Unexpected symbol near period. Which period? Oh, everyone is local. Yeah, that's why. Whoops. Simple mistake. Sorry, guys. GMCMB. Position. So the next few episodes are just going to be really working on fixing this up and making it better. This is going to be the first thing I'm getting into. Then I'm going to do hockey. Those are going to be the first few things I'm focused on. Alright, so now we just got to move it over some. The question is how far over do we move it? Position wise, it's in 0 0.180. 0 0.15. 125, alright. Zero point one two five. No, it's size. Whoops. One two five and zero point two two five. This is pretty much going to be trial and error until we can get it looking right. Try 15. Zero point one, maybe. All right. Basically, what I'm doing later by later on is make it so that, um, there's different. You have to do. There's a certain range that you can get from. We used um, size size fourteen. All right. This is coming along pretty good. What do they call it down here? Player's number? Probably should have made these local. Alright. Your number is. Alright, so if you guys um, are new to using strings like this, if you guys have to do, say, a string, then a piece of code, and then more, stri more string in scripting, you have double periods you can add, and then you put whatever it is. Like, watch. Basically, that works. That whenever we open it, we get the little number above, our, above the thing that says "new number is." Yeah, see, this is a number. So we removed our number from our backpack. We get a new number. It's completely random, so you never really know what you're gonna get. 
It's a random five digit number that you get. And if you die, you get a new number. So, that's good. And so, like, if you want it to be like a. Because the way I'm going to set it up is you can not going to know who's who. Names aren't going to be shown, any of that stuff. So, you're going to have to know the number, know the person. So, if you really need to, you probably party them or something like outside a game. Best way to contact them. Later on, though, I do want to add range, like a certain range. But that's going to be something I'm adding later on. First, for now, I'm just going to get a working version in. If anything, I probably could have put this in here. But that's fine. Gotta make it so the text stays there. Feel free to edit this once you guys. This the game is open. It's uncopyrighted. Enough if you guys want to join and check it out or copy some things here and there. I don't really care. Do what you want with it. I'm gonna go ahead and save this because I don't want to lose this. I will need to go in the game and test this out real quick with a friend or two here or there. So I do want to make sure all that's working. But yeah, once I have them all done, I'm going to make a model inside of the storage. So if you guys do open the game, feel free to go in and check them out. Of course, if you're watching the video, you kind of know how it all set up anyway. Alright, so we have this. So now we, don't have, we have to make it so that it calls. Alright, so... Alright, so click to call... I don't know if this is going to work, so let's try. Connect the function here. Um, I'm the player. Wait, um, local player to call equals click to call dot text print player to call. Let's just try that. And see if that works. All right, so issue is we have the number, but it doesn't actually show the person. So we're going to have to add a second value. Save the name. We're going to add a string value inside of each button that holds the player's name. Save the name. Dot name. Alright. Player to call, player dot to call find first child, save the name. Alright. Let's try that. Alright. Alright, so now that we have that, so now we can check if Game that players first child to call not equal to nil then. So basically if you click it and it does find the player in the game's players, 
then it runs in this case it's going to find our character player is found in the button it has clicked call which is this one and it has our name so no fun size so we're making progress issue is getting them to pick up. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that. So that's the part I'm stuck at. Um, Drawing up like on chat service right now. Chat service, chat service, chat service. Chat. Game get service, chat. I know how to do it. I'm just drawing a blank here. Alright, um. Pretty sure it's just game get service. Service and then chat. Alright, so then chat. And then we have reset a variable for character now. Head ringing. Let's see if that worked. Not entirely sure if it did, so we'll try. Whoops. Just kind of messing around with stuff because I haven't made it in the Mushi before. Alright. So, what we have to use, I may have to use a quarantine here. My issue is how am I supposed to make it so they can pick up? I'm gonna go ahead and save what I have here so far. Quickly make it so you can't find you can't see your own person, obviously. Um if there's a game insertion name is not equal to player.name then add an extra end down here so it's not going to run if it's your player like you won't be able to find your um, we go ahead and save that end of the video here I will be working on hockey in the next video and possibly some race moves so, feel free to subscribe and comment. Thanks for watching. If you guys think you have anything you want me to see, if you guys have any ideas on how to do this, I would love some help because I'm quite frankly I'm clueless here. So, if you guys have any other suggestions for other videos, you know what to do. Subscribe to our Studios. Going to be in the description. I like good stuff.